Welcome to Local Live at Making Music in Downtown Frederick, the best city in the world. I'm your host, Ashley Marie of the bands Vinyl Rhino, Cover Party Dance, and Slingshot Original Folk Blues. And I am here today and super excited to be interviewing my guest from the band, The Mirror. Say hi, guys. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and we're just going to share the link right here live for a second. Just on my phone. And yeah, we're just on our technologies like us, like, like you will do. So we hope you guys are having a good day. For those of you tuning in, it is an interactive show. So please feel free to post your questions as we go. Um, if you don't have any questions, you can always like just generally comment. Uh, we prefer positive things. That'd be great. Um, so today we have Wanda on, on uh, my right would be your left. So Wanda, do you want to just say hello to everyone? Hello. Hi. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we have Jeff here on my Hi. right. And if you want to go and tell us, Jeff, what do you do in the band? I play uh, guitar and bass and sing. Okay, guitar, bass, and sing. Yes. Is there one that you do predominantly, or it just depends on the song? That depends on the song, usually bass. Okay, and is that your instrument that you first started playing on? Yeah, that was my first instrument was bass. And, and how I old were you? Guitar later. I was 12. 12 years old, what inspired you to play? Uh, my dad was a guitar player, and I just really liked watching him play music, and I wanted to do it too. Yeah, well, that's good. Does he still play? Yeah, he mostly just has guitars on the wall that he looks at. Oh, that <laughs> isn't that every guitar player, whether you yeah. play or not? Like, uh, like the, the guitar count. That should be a new question. I start asking, how many guitars do you own for bass? Uh, how many guitars? One, two, three. Three. Okay, three. That's res I would say that's respectable. Feel free to comment and weigh in how many you have, and if you <laughs> find that to be a respectable number of instruments. <laughs> All right, and now Wanda, uh, same for you. What do you do in the band? Um, so, uh, I sing and play guitar in pretty much all the bands. I also play bass in the mirror for about half the time. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So you get to switch it up. And now, you are an all-original band in the yes. mirror, right? How would you describe your sound for everybody watching? Um, it, it's sort of a wide range of sounds. Um, <laughs> kind of talking about. So, uh, we have put out acoustic albums like Fully Acoustic, and then we also, mostly we play electric. And okay. it's sort of like an indie rock. Uh, alternative kind of sounds. Cool. And how old were you when you first started playing? Oh gosh, I was in high school. <laughs> I played acoustic guitar. <laughs> and that was your favorite, your first beginning that instrument? That was my first beginning instrument. Yeah. What made you want to play guitar? Um, well, I saw this band at a talent show of these guys, these three guys in matching shirts, and they all looked really cool playing <laughs> in their rock bands. And all the girls are like, I want to date them. And I was like, I want to be in a band. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. That's so true. When I, when I was younger, I grew up watching like the, the male rock stars, and all yeah. my friends were like, "We want to be, we want to be with them." And I was like, "I want to be them." Like, <laughs> like no, screw that. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. That's a great anecdote. So, um, you joined the band. This is the Mirror, and you guys were mentioning you're also in some other bands. Did you want to give shout out to your other projects while you're on yeah. on air? Of course. <laughs> um, so we're also in. Mallrats and The Escape Artist, and both of those are about to release uh, an album. Oh wow, so you guys have been busy recording, is that, yeah. how long have you been recording for those projects? Oh my gosh, Since a lot. April. Since April. <laughs> oh wow, which yeah. depending on, you know, you guys also, you say you both have um, day jobs as well, you want to go and share that? Yeah, um, I teach uh, guitar, bass, and drums. Cool, and you? I just teach guitar lessons to kids. Oh, the just guitar lessons. <laughs> <laughs> For now, and they, and they're in three bands, so you know, no no big deal. Um, now, just so we can ask the same question, and I am curious, how many guitars do you own, Wanda? Uh, let's see, two I think right now. So I have two that I use that are not actually mine. And okay. I actually sold one of my. Wait, you have like a guitar lease program going on? What's happening? <laughs> one of them is my husband's guitar. Oh, okay. It was just sort of on permanent loan to me from a friend. Well, if it's your husband's, isn't that base? That's basically yours, right? Oh no, it's his. Oh really? Does <laughs> he make that known to you? Like every time you have a gig? <laughs> no, 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 I get to use it as much as I want. It's pretty cool. It's basically mine, but it's also very much his. So. Oh, that's good. And now, has has he named the instrument? Is there anything going on like that? Well, he uh, actually got it from uh, Paul Reed Smith at. Uh, and he signed in. And oh, from actual from Paul Reed Smith. Okay, yeah. I see. Uh, now I see the possessiveness. So that's I why understand. it's <laughs> special to him. Yeah. Well, good. Well, at least you know if the guitar is getting played, that's what matters. Yeah, exactly. Know? That's what he says. Yeah. And we talked about this earlier, but I think it's interesting to share. What does your husband do? 
He is a sound engineer. I think that's so neat. So yeah. you stay, stay in the business. Let's see who's hopping on and joining us right now. We have, uh, have some folks saying hello. Just want to give a shout out to everybody watching. And do remember to, uh, to ask questions as we go. So tell us about some of your upcoming gigs that you have <laughs> going on. Oh yeah, so we don't really have any booked, which is completely unusual for us. But you've been recording! Because we've been recording so much, <laughs> yeah. and just focusing on that. Yeah, but you know, we played for like every weekend, several times a week, like for years. Um, so the mirror actually just, our drummer moved away. Oh no, like really recently? Yeah. yeah. Oh no, sad. Do you, are you looking for a drummer? Is this an opportunity to advertise right now? <laughs> <laughs> You know, we're open to it. We are. Uh, we have been playing with some very fabulous drummers. Do you want to give any shout outs to your fill in guy? Yeah, yeah. Mitch uh, played the 06 release party with us and he did a great job. Cool. It was really fun. So thank you, Mitch. Thanks, Mitch. If That's you're right. Mitch, <laughs> Mitch, you're Mitch. Yeah, Mitch. Yeah. Not just for Baywatch, Mitch. We like you here too. <laughs> that was a dated joke. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for laughing. Um, so, no gigs booked yet. But open the mirror is open to gigs and drummers. Okay, again, I'm going to okay. say this is just 10% of the cut goes to me for recruiting this <laughs> right now, and 1% uh, to making music. But drummers, I feel like there's a lot of drummers probably watching right now. Oh, cool. So, nice. so what are the kind of rooms do you play typically when you're gigging with the mirror? Um, so bars and venues and there's. Uh, <laughs> Fairy festivals and all kinds of. Wait, come like, back to this last one you snuck in. It was that fairy festivals. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna need some elaboration. Just take it, whoever's ready. <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, there's a there was a fairy festival in Baltimore. We played that twice. Um, that was really fun. What does a fairy festival consist of? What what describe <laughs> this for the people who like myself who've never been? Yeah, uh, a lot of people just being free and dressing up and having fun. A lot of costumes. And wearing vendors. wings. Okay, is there specific fairy food? Usually it's Indian food. It's Indian food. Really? Yeah. I did not yeah. know fairies like Indian food. That's Fairly, something yeah. good to know. Like there's yeah. something in the curry, maybe? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> For sure. It's curry's magic. <laughs> curry's magic? I, I do believe so. I've had some. What's your favorite curry in this area? Oh, um, oh, what's that? Jelly good. six. Yeah, jelly six. Okay, you just named my favorite ones. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gotta hit that lunch buffet, guy. Yeah, oh yeah. It's we great. we always ask our guests our favorite gig food, so it's good. we got to it quicker. We got yeah. to it organically today. <laughs> jelly, jelly six at the fair. Maybe if they weren't represented at the fairy festival, maybe you could like do a combo booking deal. Next yeah. Year. <laughs> well, if there's ever a Frederick Fairy Festival, then remember to call. I feel like you guys should initiate that. The mirror should right, be like the number one. Yeah, that's it. Like, we're, like how did this happen? It happened live. Frederick Fairy Festival just sounds awesome for starters. Yeah. Totally. You guys obviously be the headliner. You could book a bunch of openers. I'm down for this. Lots of Indian food. Delhi Six, we already are calling you out. Any of you are watching. Um, so we do have some comments coming in. Ross Kerr says, hmm, video not working for me. So oh. he wouldn't be seeing this. So hi Ross. Hi Ross. If you can right hear there. me. But <laughs> hi for when you tune in later. Many said, "Oops, there we go." I felt oh, the need okay. to do that follow oh, okay. in case you were worried. Okay. <laughs> VJ says, "Love fairies and Indian food. These people are my people." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what VJ means. You guys are fairies or just everyone? That's great. Um, hi Greg and hi Wally. Also watching. So tell us about your songwriting process. Who writes the songs? How do you write them? How does that work? We both write. Um, I've been writing songs forever, and it started out where I could write a song by myself and then bring it into the group um, for the mirror, especially. Like, I would just bring a song in, and then um, he would write. And then it started to be more of a collaboration where we'd actually sit down and write together, which is oh, really cool. Oh, yeah. Um, with the escape artist, which Ross is an escape artist. Hey, hey. oh, shout out. Shout hey. out. Ross, <laughs> thanks for being in the other van. We'll see you at the next show. <laughs> um, that started out with uh, the other guitarist friend writing a lot of the stuff, and I would write vocals. And then when I started playing guitar, uh, that started to become more of a collaborative writing process. Nice. Yeah, so really, it's it's so fun, you know. I have the easiest time writing alone, um, but then with other people, there's some really cool, magical things that can actually happen. And yeah, like a totally change an idea you might have had, I'm guessing. Yeah. So, Jeff, do you write vocals as well? Do you write any of the lyrics? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, uh, for our acoustic album and our last album, I wrote about half the songs, I would say. And yeah. I sang like 
not ha didn't sing half of them, but uh, yeah, I like to write and I do it pretty often. <laughs> now, do you think if I was to listen to the whole album that I would be able to tell who wrote which songs? I always wonder that. I don't <laughs> yes. know. I mean, maybe if you like knew us personally, you'd have like, yeah. a better time guessing. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know because sometimes people think one wrote it and really it was the other one. But yeah. also, I wonder if they could tell who's playing guitar and who's playing bass. Oh, that's a really good yeah. point, because that's even more of a signature. Like, I would think that lyrics would be a little bit more of a giveaway. Hopefully, yeah. but like you said, people could be wrong. Um, but yeah, hmm. who's playing guitar and who's playing bass? How do you decide that it, at all? It's usually who wrote what. Like, if, if Wanda came up with a bass line, I would play guitar or, or vice versa, usually. Good question. I actually, how do we come up? <laughs> yeah, it's just like one of us will be playing one thing and we'll write something, and then... You know, then I'm the basis for the song because I wrote a bass line. Have you ever switched? <laughs> Said, oh, it would be better now. That, like, like say yes. you wrote it on guitar, but you're like, it'd be a lot easier for me to sing if I was playing bass. Or yes, mm -hmm. as a matter of fact. Uh, <laughs> which song did we, uh, we did well, that with um, Sleeping Giant. Oh yeah, that's right. That's a great song title. <laughs> Who wrote that one? He wrote it on guitar, and okay. now I play guitar on it. Mm -hmm. oh, she just stole it right from me. <laughs> yeah, it was easier for me to sing on sing and play bass on that song. Right. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So, both of you, since you're both songwriters, what's the first song you ever wrote? How old were you? Do you remember it? Jeff first. Uh, yeah, it was an instrumental song. It was called, I think I called it something like Zephyr, and yeah, it was just a little thing in G. Yeah? It was fun. Do you still feel good about it? Still a good song? No. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? 16. Oh, well, you know, that's what happened. There's a lot of yeah. things I don't feel good about that I did when I was 16, Jeff. <laughs> I think that's perfectly acceptable. Yeah. It sounds cool. Maybe as a bonus track. Yeah, what very with? hidden bonus track. <laughs> what about you, Wanda? Um, well, I don't remember the first song I ever wrote because I have been writing since I could talk. But really? I do remember the first song I ever recorded. It was on my Fisher Price Ooh, set. Now we're talking. <laughs> with the really bright buttons. And the little microphone with the curly string. I, I have it at home, oh, believe yeah. it or not. Yeah. Yeah. It's not mine, it's my husband's. He recorded <laughs> movie reviews on it, and now he's a film critic, so yeah, <laughs> same here. So I made my little sister sing harmonies with me, so you know we could do this recording together. How old were you? I want to say seven. Great. <laughs> yeah, she was four or five. I was like, you have to sing the harmonies, so I had to teach her how to sing this. Harmony. Thank you, Sylvia. Oh, <laughs> Sylvia, that's so cute. And, um, yeah, so I remember, you know, we wrote the song, we rehearsed it, you know, we recorded it on the Fisher Price tape, and I'm sure I still have it somewhere, or my mom has it somewhere. See, now, next time you're on the show, that's a gem. We're going to need to have that. We, we definitely need that. Do you remember the name and the content of all the song? Of it, but I'm a little embarrassed to say. But I'm, can you recite some of the lyrics for us? <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed. Okay. I'm tired of your game, stop running around. You just ran away, you're gonna hit the ground. All right, um, that's enough. You know what, that's, that's better than like 100% <laughs> of Britney Spears songs want us. So do not feel bad about that. <laughs> I think that was fantastic. Let's, let's see what the, student, the audience has to say. They're, we're getting hearts all over the place. It's a hit, oh, nice. that's it. Bring, that, bring both songs back. But in the meantime, uh, do you have one that you can play for us today? Sure, yeah. Tell us about this song. Uh, this song is called Illuminate, and I wrote it by myself, <laughs> just before we met, actually, and it's, I don't know, maybe not as relatable as, as a, a rescue song, but, but you know what? I like it. I'm <laughs> <laughs> and that is a true musician's attitude. <laughs> Deal with it, folks. It's going to be great. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the mirror on Local Life.
stuff yeah and my dad listened to very selectively to classic rock but a lot of world music and you know really thought it was important that I learned different rhythms and he played tantrums and so he's really into like really interesting music that's yeah. like not normal <laughs> every drummer I've met has been crazy but like a cool kind of crazy typically <laughs> yeah. so your dad's a percussion that's great you both are uh, second generation or maybe even more did other grandparents ever play no. <laughs> yeah, well, that's okay. Yeah. yeah, my grandfather was a jazz pianist. 
Really? Yeah. That's so neat. What kind of stuff did he play? Like, like gigging? No, I think he just did it like for he did it like for fun sometimes. But he was like an engineer, so he didn't really. Ah, oh, wow. The en- I found engineers oftentimes are. I know a lot of musicians who are engineers at their mm-hmm. day job. So maybe just something. I've always been curious, like to what lights up your brain. There, yeah. yeah, like there's definitely some sort of a connection. I think so. So, what are some of your influences? Uh, yeah, I grew up listening to like <clears throat> indie and grunge and. Uh, yeah, Modest Mouse is probably my biggest influence oh, yeah. uh, growing up. The, the albums that came out in like the late 90s, like Long Drive for Someone with Nothing to Think About, and uh, The Moon in Antarctica, stuff like that. It's really guitar-driven, like mm-hmm. emotional kind of music. Yeah, you want to talk about some emphatic singing. Like, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the first time I heard that album, I was like, this is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Um, so guys, we know you don't have any gigs coming up, but in the meantime, where can we find your music? Online, we have all kinds of, actually there's a website, please visit the Amir website, theamirmusic.com. Theamirmusic.com. You can listen there. We also have, all three of our bands are on Bandcamp. Oh cool. They each have a page. So Mall Rat, The Escape Artist, and The Mirror. Um, and then, yeah, we're, we're also, uh, The Mirror albums are on iTunes. Great. And on Spotify. Wow. Yeah, if you listen on Spotify, then you get this email that's like, you have new listeners this month. That's, that's so cool. Yeah, <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> and we have a uh, music video on YouTube. Oh, oh you do? Mm-hmm. Okay, and can, sure. we, can we find it all if we go to your we- main website, themirrormusic.com? Yes. The video and the music for The Mirror, yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. The other bands we're working on themselves. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, again, you've been recording. I, yeah. I want to say, recording is so time consuming. Oh, yeah, yes. We have to like stop gigging to get it done, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Very, very cool, guys. So would you mind to play one more song? Yeah. yeah. I think we're, we're running low on time, so I wanted to get that. In the meantime, um, thank you so much for being my guest on the thank show today. So and we'll have to have you back with some, some of the other bands, too, so, <laughs> so you can represent all your music. So again, we are here live with The Mirror at Making Music in downtown Frederick on Local Live. And tell us a little about this song. The song is called Scrape. It's uh, from our...
you guys so much for being my guest today. And everybody, check out themiremusic.com and get the give them a Spotify notification today. You know, they worked hard. They gave you some some free music here just now. And join us next time on November fifth when I'm going to be interviewing Marshall Fuzz. I'm pretty excited about yeah. Marshall Fuzz. Yeah. Also, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys take care again. I'm Ashley with Local Live. Thanks for joining us.